going on guys and welcome back to Baker's DIY Lifestyle. So in today's video, we are going to be going in depth on how we took our ugly master bath, single vanity, and turned it into what you see here, this beautiful double vanity, two mirrors, new light fixtures. We're gonna be going step by step in how we removed all the old plumbing, removed the old vanity, cut everything apart, didn't put any holes in the wall or in the floor to, to move the plumbing around, and took our setup from a single vanity to the 60 inch double vanity. So this is a project that I've never tackled before and I'm super excited that I went ahead and made the decision to go for it because the money that we saved on the installation of this thing allowed us to get a really nice vanity, afford all the paint, a new cabinet, and all the other fixtures that you see within the bathroom. But with that, I'm gonna get right into the video and start showing you guys the tear down, the cleanup, and how to install a vanity like this yourself in your own bathroom. Alright guys, so I do want to jump in right here and just talk about how good this single vanity was installed in our house. So they definitely did everything when they installed this vanity by the book. They've got it screwed to the wall, they ran the plumbing very tightly through the bottom of the vanity. There was not much cut out and that is what ended up taking me so long to get this vanity out. Of course you'll see throughout the video pulling out the sawzall, using my little multi-tool to break it up, just beating this thing with a hammer. Um, it was definitely installed right, so kudos to whoever put this thing in before we moved in. But if you have a vanity that is like this, just keep working it, just keep fighting it. Eventually, you will find the screw that's in the wall or the piece of wood that is wrapped around the piece of plumbing. Just keep on cutting, and eventually it will come out, and it'll all be worth it. got to the point of the install where we're gonna have to try to get all of this plumbing fixed up in order to get it set up for the double vanity so what I've got going on right here is I've got the vanity inside I've got all the plumbing tore apart all the way down to this section and I'm trying to figure out the best course of action uh, where I don't have to cut anything coming out of the floor I am gonna have to modify the vanity a little bit and I'm gonna try to get down here and show you exactly what I'm doing of course, it's all just going to be cut it, try it, make it work. Uh, but I think I've got a pretty solid plan we're going to go for, and I'm going to try to get down here and show you exactly what I'm what I'm trying to do. All right, so I've got one drain already installed under this sink, just to kind of get an idea of the height where the drain is going to be. But right here, where it's actually coming out of the P drain, I can measure the height of this, and that is going to transfer over to this two inch pipe, where I'm going to go ahead and put a two inch to one and a half reducer and then the one and a half straight into the one and a quarter uh, from the drain. And I think if I can move this enough that I'm gonna be able to get really, really close uh, to that center pipe, if not be able to touch it uh, with the left side drain. So the way I've got the light and the pipe and the center of the vanity set up, this center piece of the vanity should go right between the cold side line and the actual drain. So all of that's gonna come up through the vanity. I'll have the hot and the drain on the left side and then the cold on this side. I'm gonna to have to tee off both water lines, drill a hole through this for the drain as well as the water lines. But I think I've got enough room where I can make all of that work and get both drains running uh, without having to tear anything out of the floor. So with that, I'm going to try to set the camera up and I'll kind of talk through what I'm doing as I'm doing it and see if we can get this thing uh, put back together in some sort of not completely rigged up fashion. All right, guys, so I'm under the left side of the vanity and I'm going to need a hole about right here for the drain, the hot water supply and the electrical uh, running up through the bottom of that thing. So I'm going to go ahead and measure it out kind of gauge out just a little square right here, take my multi-tool, cut a hole out of the bottom, and I'm gonna double check right now while I'm thinking about it, just to make sure there's no like structural support, which I don't feel anything, so I should be fine. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out, see how big of a hole I need. Hopefully we can then just lift it right across the top and onto it.
All right, guys, so we got the vanity put in. You probably noticed my bracelet because we just got back from the hospital. Um, but anyway, we got this uh, vanity put in, and what we're going to try to do today is go ahead and get the plumbing done, get the fixtures in, uh, finish up maybe the mirror uh, before we have to go back to the NICU and check on our baby. Uh, but so far it's in, it's looking pretty good. Before I start on the plumbing, I'm going to go ahead and level this thing out. So when we set it down on the tile, we're le pretty level side to side, uh, but it's leaning forward quite a bit. So I'm going to try to get down there, see if I can pick it up by myself enough just to spin the feet under there, get it leveled up, and then screw it into the wall so that we don't have to worry about it moving. Um, and then once we get all that done, we'll hit the plumbing, get the fixtures put in, and we should be pretty done uh, on the vanity. But I'm going to get under here and show you sort of my plan and what I'm wanting to do with it. So you can see on the left side of the vanity here, we got the electrical running out, the hot water line, and then the drain. It's on this T-shaped uh, piece that we're going to put right here. I'm getting ready to cut a hole through the wall to run the drain from the right side. Then the plumbing coming down from this left side sink should go straight into that. And then I can run my studer valve right off the top of that, probably up to the top. So I'll put a little section as high as I can, put the studer up there, and we should be good on that. As far as the water, I just got a T-valve, so I'm going to screw it on there. I got some extensions to run through the same hole that I'm going to drill right here. And hopefully it'll be enough length uh, that we can hook both sinks up, you know, the hot on both sinks and the cold, running it through and everything. But with that, I'm going to try to get the camera set up where you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully I'll be able to get it in here some way that you can see where I'm cutting, how I'm running the plumbing and everything. Uh, but other than that, I'm just going to get started putting it all together. I hope that this video was informative and helped you out and hopefully you will be able to tackle a project like this on your own with just a few tools like I say a couple good friends to help you lift something this big up and into place but overall the project is not super difficult it just takes a little bit of thinking especially for the plumbing and how you're gonna run the water lines 
But if this video did help you guys out, please be sure to hit that like button because we want the channel to spread as far as possible so that we can continue to put out these do-it-yourself videos. And definitely be sure to hit the subscribe button because as of right now, we are almost at a thousand subscribers and I'm really hoping this little series is what is going to be the thing that pushes us over a thousand. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would like to see more from this uh, do-it-yourself bathroom renovation, please be sure to check out the playlist that I will link right up top or down in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.